fine speech is no more than a distraction. While the Empress speaks, her stone protectors are in your minds! The stone protectors are in the crystal mines? What are they doing? Who knows? Spying? Planning their takeover? Not for long. Please! Listen to me, Miners of Frostbite! I am fighting for my throne! For the Mithrandir we once knew! I need your help! Scintillating. Oh, man! This is... is... wild? Fantastic? Unbelievable? Blimey, Clifford, can't you do any better than that? I mean... I mean, this is... a fab and groovy? You got that right, Angus. I've never seen anything so fab and groovy in all my life. Geronimo! Oh, wow, you guys are styling! Good, good. Another charge over there and we'll bring this entire cavern down. The stone protectors will be trapped forever. Oh, I love it! No, this is not right. I don't like those boys, but there's no call to blow them up. It's the only way! Right now, you are the miner's leader. But if the Empress and her stone protectors learn the secrets of the Crystal Mines, you're finished! And did you see the way your daughter looks at those savages? How will you forgive yourself when she runs away with this band? Give me that thing. I'll blow this place so those boys will never get out. I have never seen anything so gorgeous in all my life. And it's the last thing you'll ever see in your life. Come. What? If they see us, they'll suspect a trap. Why give them the chance to escape? We've listened to your argument, Empress Opal, and we're with you. But Merle has been our leader for as long as we can remember, and he must speak for us. Then let's find him. I'm sure he'll listen to reason. Are you sure we should do this? Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> this is one band that can say it went out with a... bang. Merle? Cave in. Gallery number three. Merle? Aster is down there with the stone protectors. <gasps> Aster! Oh no. What have I done? Merle, if anyone can save Aster, it's the stone protectors. You don't understand. This is my fault. I blew the mine. Why, Merle? Why would you do such a thing? Esther and the mine are all I have. I thought your stone protectors were going to steal them both from me. I thought... Oh, I, I don't know what I was thinking. Let's cut the thinking and start digging. <gasps> you are the stone protectors. Use your powers. Well, I'm supposed to be the climber, but I don't see a way to go. Wait up, you guys. I got an idea, see? Shake a leg, boys. My daughter's trapped down there with those stone protectors. Roll, Max! Roll! What was that?
I'd say this is your gig, pal. <laughs> like taking a snow cone from a baby, buddy. <laughs> My daughter, is she? Relax, Pops. She's with the band. I'm oh, okay, Dad. Oh, Pastor. So, what kept you? Cliff had to rescue a fan. That's him. That's the one. He, he, he's the guy who told me that the stone protectors were trying to steal the secrets of the crystal mines. Zing! Leave him, boys. Don't worry. The miners have got him covered. Phew, that was a close shave. Not half as close as the shave you'll get from Zog. <sighs> <laughs> I will always owe you the greatest debt of thanks, Empress. And you know that as long as I live, the Crystal Mines will remain loyal to you. I know, Merle. And I'll rely on it. Okay, let's go! We've got a long ways to go before I get my throne back. I owe you an apology, Aster. Oh, no need, Daddy. I thought I was going to lose you, lose everything. Just because I liked their music never meant I was going to leave Frostbite. This is my home. You know, they weren't so bad after all, those stone protectors. You mean you liked them? You liked their music? I ain't saying I liked them, but hey, if a miner can't dig it, who can? <laughs> <laughs>